If you're the owner of a Logitech camera quite like myself, you've probably experienced the all too familiar feeling of having to readjust your cameras every single time you reboot your PC. Regardless of if you're using things like OBS, Discord, StreamYard, Streamlabs, or even sites like Zoom, this is always the case. And although it's been a problem with Logitech cameras for literally years, and now fleets of users have actually reported that this is a problem that they are experiencing pretty much daily, it seems like Logitech is not doing anything or doesn't care at all to actually fix this or give us a solution towards us, leaving many of us to either upgrade and spend more money that we don't already have or just simply continue to deal with this pain. Well, what if I told you there was a third option, an option called Camus. So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another brand new video on my channel. My name is, of course, Catman Joe, if you're new around here. And today, of course, I'm going to be telling you guys how to actually stop feeling the pain of having to readjust your Logitech cameras each and every single time you go to use them using a little thing called Camus. Now, you're probably thinking, what the hell is a Camus? Well, aside from it being something that sounds like a kid's milkshake from the early 2000s, it's actually also a very useful little extension. This little extension will allow you to easily and effortlessly actually save your settings for your cameras, meaning that each time you reboot your PC or software like OBS, you'll be able to just with the click of a button, reset all your cameras back to the way that you like them. But that's my description of the actual application. By its own description though, it is a semi-free piece of software that allows more granular fine tuning, sorting and renaming the sliders, locking them from accidental change and undo with control Z. Bit of a weird description, but that's what it says. Now I wanna just clarify before we go any further into the software, talking about the software, that I am in no way sponsored by or being paid by the actual creator of it. I just thought that I'd make a video covering the subject because I know that it can maybe help potentially fellow creators or streamers like myself that are experiencing the same problems that I have. But anyway, moving on, let's cover how actually Camus works and more importantly, how to actually save your settings using it. So presuming you've already downloaded and installed Camus and you've loaded up, the software you should be seeing should be looking just like this. Now, what you're looking at here is a pretty simplistic little window that shows you obviously, of course, brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness, white balance, backlight, gain, zoom, focus, exposure, pan, and tilt. And these are just the options that are available to me, of course. Um, I'll also show you guys this part here right now. And as you can see, it kind of just says PO instead of obviously podcast camera, which is my camera name, of course, the one that you're looking at right now. And we've also, of course, got the main camera, which is my middle camera that I use for when I'm actually streaming or making content. Um, and also my chat camera, which is just, again, another cool camera angle that I have. Now we're gonna stick with the podcast camera. I'm gonna show you guys how this works in a nutshell. So obviously, of course, it's as simple as you've just got to calibrate to your exact liking. So in a nutshell, say you want your brightness quite high like this. I'm going to obviously adjust my brightness. You can see it's getting a little bit too high right now. It looks like I'm about to be in the rapture. I'm not entirely sure. It looks a little bit crazy. You can adjust your brightness to whatever level you find perfect, of course. We're going to make mine a little bit a little bit darker. I'm going to make it run right here. This looks about okay. And then obviously, of course, we can change the contrast. I'm sure a lot of you understand how contrast works. Of course, we can change saturation. Obviously, of course, saturation, excuse me, sharpness and many other things, including white balance, backlight, gain, etc. Zoom. You guys get it. It, it. it all works. You guys understand how this entire thing works. Okay. And aside from me looking me, aside from me looking kind of demonic, uh, demonic, excuse me, it's as simple as just basically adjusting your settings until you have them at your liking. Now, if you have bought the full version, I do apologize for this quality right now. If you have bought the full version, it's as simple as going down here to this setting right now and clicking streaming camera settings, and then just that simply it, clicking it. Now, for some reason, mine doesn't obviously work. I'm gonna have to go here to my main camera, and then we're gonna go back to the podcast camera like this. And as you can see, it's automatically readjusted back to my podcast camera settings. Now, you do have to purchase the actual full version, of course, to be able to get access to save your camera settings, which is a bit of a bummer but it's definitely worthwhile because if you do want to adjust your own kind of custom settings, you can adjust them and then clicking the little save icon at the bottom right here. You can then from there just simply save them and use them whenever you want to use them with the click of a button. It's that simple. So before in this video, I wanted to cover my personal experience using Camus. Like I just mentioned, I paid for the full version, which cost me $4.99 or $4.99. And that includes of course tax as well, obviously. Um, as I needed to save multiple different camera settings and the free version just simply wouldn't allow me to save any settings at all. And making it sort of redundant to download in the first place because the free or semi-free version doesn't really have the ability to save, from my recollection, at least any camera settings. But with that in mind, it is fully worth buying the full version. The only issues that I've had with it has been the occasional slow start of the software when it's already been used the same day in the same session. It's hard to really explain what I mean, but in a nutshell, if I turn my PC on, the Camus icon would be at the bottom right of my taskbar automatically, and I could easily click on it and use it to calibrate my cameras without any problems whatsoever. However, if for some reason, I had to do it again that same day without restarting my PC. It would take a little while to load the software up. I do have to say that I believe this is due to having issues with my Elgato capture card. Um, although it might not be, I'm not entirely sure, but it's just something that I thought I'd note, but nothing bad whatsoever. So overall, I'd highly suggest anyone who has a Logitech camera get this software as it's cheap, it's 
saved me a bunch of time and it's incredibly useful. Also, as a little side note, I purchased the creator's other software, kind of sister software to the Camus app or the Camus software um, called Cam Rename, which does pretty much what you'd imagine it does with the actual name. It basically, in a nutshell, for those of you who can't already guess, allows you to be able to rename all of your cameras, which might not be useful for everybody because not everybody really has multiple cameras or multiple of the same camera, if that. But if you're someone like me who has, for some reason, three different Logitech cameras, all the exact same brand, all the exact same model and make, then it is definitely worth buying. And with that all being said, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of today's video. Thank you all so much for watching it. If you guys did go and enjoy it, please be sure to drop a like in it, share with your friends and family. If you have any questions or issues, leave a comment down below and I'll respond as soon as possible. Also, of course, it goes without saying, I'm going to shell it. Please be sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell to stay notified when I release any new videos on my channel. And other than that, guys, I'll hopefully see you guys all in the next video. And thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.